everybody, this is War Story Video Blog. I am Alex and here we are in Cologne and now I will go to Belgium to show you uh, one very interesting museum. It um, stay not far from uh, Bastogne, not far from uh, Malmedy, very famous places, you know why. And um, all these museums are amazing because uh, private collectors um, show their items in uh, these museums and it's very, very interesting. So I would like to share you my experience to attend, uh, of attending, how to say it, uh, these museums and uh, I hope you will enjoy. So uh, now we have to drive one hour, 40 minutes. Uh, it takes now, but in uh, December 1944 or uh, 1945, uh, in the beginning of year, it took probably months and uh, weeks to go there and back. So let's go and see that. Here we are in Belgium, uh, in place La Glisse or La Glace. But uh, here in December 1944 was a really huge battle against Kampfgruppe Piper and German paratroopers and um, American GIs, American paratroopers and um, Allied forces. So here we can see the museum, museum December 1944, and here we can see uh, the good Orient. <laughs> for it, how, how to find this uh, museum. There is a uh, huge tank uh, right next to the door. It stands here from 1944 and um, this one in good shape and uh, I will show you it a little bit later, but now let's go to the museum. And here in La Glace, uh, there is a show, military antique show, uh, since 1986, one year before uh, my birth. Um, it has been started and um, here we can see uh, dates for this year it will be in june 18th uh, and june 19th two days and uh, this show is uh, really nice because um, a lot of dealers stand uh, here on the street of this town and uh, this is a really historical place that why uh, it started here so let's go up and uh, start uh, our review of the museum. Uh, first of all, we have to buy uh, tickets here. It's um, really a decent price, adults for 7.5 euro. It's less than 10 bucks and uh, it's really uh, cheap price for to see um, all this, for opportunity to see all this original stuff. So museum starts here in the second floor and this museum shows both uh, sides of uh, battle which was here and um, the German side and uh, Allied side. Owner of this museum is collector and uh, most of items are original uh, items in really nice and great condition. So, and uh, a lot of items uh, we will see today, it will be items uh, that has been found around here or in Luxembourg when, um, uh, when German troops uh, go back to German, uh, they take off clothes and uh, stuff, field equipment and uh, uh, just drop it on the villages and uh, in uh, buildings and uh, sometimes people found it. And that's great when you can uh, show in a museum um, exactly local items, you know what I mean. So uh, let's start and see uh, what is here inside. A lot of um, German items here and uh, we can see a lot of really high-end collectible things. Uh, here we can see uh, artillery uh, man. This is um, artillery because uh, we can see red piping here on the shoulder boards um, and uh, here we can see helmet, helmet M35 with camo. Uh, here we can see uh, general assault badge, uh, first class iron cross and second class iron cross um, strap and uh, here we can see more 
uh, artillery equipment. Uh, so it's very interesting and uh, look at the display, it looks uh, great. Here we can see uh, SS, uh, SS visor cap, SS NCO visor cap with uh, original metal insignia. This uh, one is really cool and this really expensive. And uh, here we can see uh, SS belt with buckle and um, field telephone and stuff uh, around it so it's also very interesting but uh, this uh, this cap for to show how rare is it a uh, regular black one uh, you can find five times more on the market like um, against this one you know it's very very rare and looks great uh, here we can see on first looking it's like it looks like uh, American soldiers equipment but uh, this is a Germans uh, covered by um, redressed you know <laughs> like Americans because uh, this is uh, Otto Skarzeny group and uh, Otto Skarzeny group uh, has been addressed to American uh, stuff to American helmets and American equipment and American uniform uh, for to do like diversions and uh, one of most uh, interesting and um, famous diversion of Otto Skarzeny is uh, uh, La Liberation de Mussolini. Um, this is uh, hotel Campo de Imperatore in uh, Italy, not far from Assergi, and um, I already filmed video about it. You can see it on your screens exactly that hotel from this uh, signal number. And um, Otto Skarzeny's uh, paratroopers came there uh, by um, engineless aircraft, how to say it, planer, and. Um, they uh, captured the hotel and um, then took off uh, Mussolini with Otto Skarzeny. So uh, here we can see full history about it and uh, that's also very interesting too. This one is not just a um, piece of wood. Uh, you can see here name, Piper and uh, this map board carried by Obersturmbannführer der Waffen-SS, commander of 1st uh, Battalion SS Panzer Regiment uh, number 1, Joachim Piper. His camp group had come to a halt at uh, Laglis. Uh, so he was there and uh, this is his, uh, his item. He's famous because uh, there was a mass curse in Malmedy and um, you know the story I probably will... Uh, We'll film video about it also. Here on the display, we can see really, really uh, rare and um, we can see a really late production Falschermiage helmet uh, with uh, original straps. Straps has been cut. Uh, probably soldier has was wounded or probably killed in action and um, somebody uh, cut the chin strap for to take it off easily and um, uh, it's full complete and in very interesting condition and uh, it's all original and very late uh, we can see it because uh, there is no any decal and uh, there is uh, like a ribbons uh, so it's like also late production stuff uh, here we can see second model um, take down knife second model a uh, gravity knife which is uh, much more rare than uh, first model and uh, this interesting one uh, here we can see belt buckle dated 1941 and uh, uh, two gloves two paratroopers gloves it's a special one and uh, here we can see cap and bandolier and uh, this one is um, signal pistol flare pistol uh, for paratroopers also not special for paratroopers but anyway it's uh, very good to see it and this display and uh, part of uh, you know like paratrooper strap uh, how to say it correctly and um, oh duck tag duck tag with numbers with just uh, just the numbers without any wrong symbols it's like also uh, fashion yaga uh, dog tag. Uh, this one is interesting uh, stuff. This is a part of tail, I guess, uh, of the aircraft, and uh, we can see it was like a target. It was like a target, and uh, uh, then somebody just uh, remove it and uh, put somewhere. But anyway, we can see this original part of German um, 
aircraft and this is a very interesting war trophy. A lot of uh, American GIs brought it back uh, to the United States and uh, some of them still uh, somewhere in uh, family displays, you know, like a trophy of uh, a trophy from the war. Here we can see one more paratrooper uh, display. This guy uh, have smoke, original smoke, paratrooper smoke. Uh, it has been bought uh, in um, United States, I guess. This one is in really good condition, and, and it's amazing how to. Uh, how it preserved all these years, but uh, this one is really, really, really rare. Um, original helmet we can see here, original color tabs, and um, this is yellow, and uh, yellow in Waffenfarbe is like a pilot and a paratrooper, so we can be sure that <laughs> here is uh, correct. And here we can see pouches for uh, MP40, MP38, and uh, look at that, this is original pair of a paratrooper second model boots and this is a very rare it's uh, hard to say how rare is, is it because uh, uh, sometimes people just uh, walk through and um, don't see rare items so oh, okay it's just uh, old boots but no uh, it costs probably five seven thousand uh, just for pair so it's uh, much more expensive than uh, any <laughs> Louis Vuitton shoes, but anyway, uh, this really nice display with uh, really cool uh, stuff on the uh, mannequin. Uh, here we can see more uh, Luftwaffe, uh, left side is uh, paratrooper also, and um, Hitler Youth uh, sport badge, uh, paratrooper uh, badge, um, ring with a uh, paratrooper emblem also. This stuff is also really rare and uh, paratroopers use it. There is a book, a uh, few more uh, badges. For example, this is um, a pilot badge in closed version and uh, this is a radio, uh, radio badge and uh, this is badge for bombers. Uh, here is a silver, uh, silver small pokal and uh, for shots you know and it engraved also and this is Evan pokal like um, coblet for um, bravery and rank of this award was between um, first uh, class iron cross and uh, german cross so this one uh, was Name and this is interesting about this award because uh, not a lot of awards, uh, German awards, was numbered or signed like in Russia or like in uh, Great Britain or United States. Uh, in Germany, uh, only Koblet and uh, maybe something else has been signed. But uh, this is very interesting because uh, you know uh, exactly date of uh, awards and um, name who won it. So this is. Uh, very interesting also a few um, jackets uh, American jackets uh, we can see here for example uh, this one is uh, major McGregor's M 1941 field jacket um, he is commanded uh, of the US 3rd armored division uh, tank force and uh, that's very interesting also that uh, this his uh, item and this tanker jacket is uh, William Barnwell, uh, wore during the Battle of Bulge. Uh, he was a commander and he was executive officer of Combat Command uh, A, 3rd uh, US Armored Division. This is a very interesting also, so it's like a commander's, uh, um, commander's staff and veteran staff. And this is uniform of Frank Quick, tank commander of 740th uh, tank battalion. And this is very, very interesting also because he uh, survived the war and uh, that's like also a veteran uh, thing. It's very cool. Here we can see a really rare jacket. This is uh, original SS uh, DOT.44. Uh, this dot .44 with eagle all sleeve. We can see it. Here, uh, this is an original um, SS item. It's very rare in that condition also. And this model was worn uh, by most infantrymen of the Waffen SS from Kampfgruppe Piper. Uh, and 
eagle, I told you, on the left sleeve. So this is um, SS uh, overcoat, uh, SS overcoat, and we will see one more in the next hole. And this is original SS uh, smoke in great condition. It found uh, not far from here, and it's also very, very, very rare. Uh, here we can see original picture um, with. Uh, container with uh, fuel for Piper tanks, Piper Group uh, tanks, and uh, it, this picture made took not far from here, and uh, here we can see original uh, stuff exactly like on the, this picture. Uh, this is also very interesting when you see something in picture and then uh, you can see it on a display. And once again, look at that lights. Lights are amazing here. Uh, here we can see Items related with uh, SDKZ251 uh, half truck, and we can see here uh, half truck uh, on the pictures, and uh, here we can see flak uh, anti uh, aircraft uh, version of it, and this is MG151 slash 20, and uh, look at that, this is a special ammunition, this is a special ammunition box for it, uh, for the belts, uh, this is a seat original seat in camo, uh, original binoculars and uh, original helmet and uh, original uh, Verband Kasten is uh, uh, medical equipment, medical equipment, special box for um, for vehicles. Uh, this is a, like to start engine, you know, how, how, to, how to call it, starter and um, camouflage uh, canister is also uh, real cool. Uh, Panzerfaust uh, box, Panzerfaust, original box with original Panzerfaust and look at that condition and uh, here probably we can see uh, looks like splinters, splinters, uh, something exposed not far from it and uh, it's also in original condition with uh, original uh, shell, it unloaded, uh, we can see it clearly and uh, here we can see Adolf Hitler um, calf title with uh, uh, lip standard Adolf Hitler uh, color tabs and it's also uh, very interesting stuff with tank extraction strap uh, and uh, with words like Iron Cross second uh, class, Iron First, Iron Cross first class, uh, close combat clasp, uh, black uh, wounded badge and um, this one is um, tank in bronze, it's for, uh, for anti-tank uh, self-propellered um, guns and for SDKFZ also, they also worn uh, this type. So this one and uh, this display also is uh, very cool. Um, this SS man in, uh, in a dot camel uh, with the original uh, brown boots, uh, which also very rare, I told you how rare is it. And uh, look at that in original condition and Wow, that's really cool and um, that's amazing. This one is, uh, I guess it's for Walter P38, uh, Y straps, Y straps uh, also not easy to find in that condition, uh, especially and um, uh, this one is pouches for MP38, uh, MP40 and uh, magazines and it's also very cool. Uh, helmet without deco I guess, yes. And um, here we can see smoke, uh, paratrooper smoke uh, without eagle and uh, look at that. Uh, sometimes uh, prisoners of war um, just removed their eagles uh, for to, to be surrendered. And um, sometimes people after the war also removed uh, this for to use it for civilians. And um, we can't know how how did they uh, left their this one is a piece of uh, armor from uh, that um, SDKFZ uh, 251 and uh, a photographer uh, took these items and uh, brought it back as a memorabilia uh, about these pictures because uh, all this stuff related with uh, that uh, half 
truck. So it's very interesting. And the relics found by photographer uh, from the place de Marche uh, in Stevold, I guess, in the Schutzen Panzerwagen SDKFZ uh, 251. The SDKFZ 251 was destroyed by 75 millimeters uh, US gun on the December 18th. Uh, 1944. Uh, so, without uh, explanation, we can't uh, understand what is it, but uh, only guessing. Uh, but now we know that it's a huge story. Uh, stay behind uh, these four pieces. Here we can see more items uh, SS helmets, uh, binoculars, uh, also SS uh, collar tabs, uh, 25, uh, 25 attacks. Uh, tank page and uh, one German cross and uh, more items related with um, SS troops. So here uh, we can see equipment, equipment with um, SS stamps and uh, SS um, received their equipment not uh, from uh, Wehrmacht. It was a different, uh, different way to get stuff, like uh, different supplies, so that's why uh, SS have uh, different style of canteens, of uh, mass kits and sometimes um, weapon also. Uh, so here we can see um, Luftwaffe, Luftwaffe officer with uh, Luftwaffe visor cap and with uh, leather um, overcoat and here we can see Luftwaffe um, anti-aircraft uh, gunners. This guy has uh, red piping on uh, shoulder boards and uh, red uh, red color tabs uh, which means artillery artillery for uh, Luftwaffe is uh, flak anti-aircraft also here we can see extra barrel for uh, for the gun and here we can see a magazine for this gun and some more insignia here on the um, on the original box and a few uh, more papers, uh, it's like award papers. Uh, here we can see one more uh, display about um, paratroopers and we can see Fallschirmjäger regiment number nine and uh, look at that. Uh, this Hauptmann had uh, his familiar crest and uh, his family crest uh, we can see here on this sword. It's very interesting to, to see it, uh, not a regular sword, it has uh, something interesting and the more history about it, uh, after that, behind that. Uh, a few more awards, uh, for example, interesting one, ground combat badge. Uh, we can see here it's quite rare and um, also very interesting. And uh, regular M40 um, Luftwaffe helmet, I guess it's um, Q maker marks, but probably I'm wrong. Uh, so here. We can see three paratroopers badges and um, uh, in the middle we can see um, army paratrooper badge, uh, which means it was uh, early one before uh, paratroopers became uh, just Luftwaffe. And um, here we can see army paratrooper badge. Uh, this is very rare. And uh, two more regular paratroopers, but I guess one of them is Asman. Right one and left one probably is uh, Junker. I can be wrong, but I'm guessing. Anyway, uh, three badges are really cool. Uh, one more belt buckle, 1940 dated, and a uh, couple of items we can see here. It's, this helmet is interesting also. We can see here original camo. Uh, the condition is not really, really perfect, uh, which means it's not uh, an issued mint condition one, but uh, we can see small dots of, <laughs> of, of paint and we can see uh, the trace of uh, eagle here. It's still here. And um, I guess it uh, has been found in woodwork and uh, stuff like that. And that's also interesting because of um, this cord is still here. This is like a camouflage cord. Uh, here we can see a few more items uh, related with SS. For for example, SS Kraftstoff Kanister. Uh, it's like a canister for gasoline, for gas. And uh, here we can see more uh, items 
for SS, it's like um, skull. These skulls are really rare and expensive and uh, a lot of veterans, a lot of American GIs uh, brought it back uh, on their wallets and uh, because it's e easy to uh, to fix it and there is no swastika and uh, uh, easy to show it to everyone and uh, only people who know what is it, who knows uh, what is it, uh, can understand that it's like, ha, huh. <laughs> it's like something special. And um, here we can see original Motec uh, light for uh, vehicles, for military vehicles. And uh, here we can see also interesting uh, radio uh, for vehicles also. So here uh, we stopped. Next haul will show us uh, much more items and also very interesting. And uh, for example, here we can see two uh, sides, uh, right sides about uh, American history, American GIs about uh, in this um, place, for example, General Matthew Bunker uh, Ridgeway. And um, here we can see some supply, supplies for uh, American GIs, this uh, medical, uh, original medical uh, helmet. And uh, here we can see uh, original airborne uh, stuff. For example, we can see original jumping boots, uh, original uh, fraz uh, books. It's uh, very important to know how to say that uh, you are not enemy when you fall to somebody's backyard, you know what I mean. And a um, few more items, uh, like uh, pocket items and uh, helmets. And also we can see special uh, item for um, for commanders who have to carry this stuff uh, with them and this is also very interesting. Um, here we can see uh, US Air Force, US Air Force stuff and high altitude bombing uh, sign here and um, look at that original uh, period picture which shows uh, us uh, armor for uh, gunners. So here we can see original uh, armor for uh, these guys. And here we can see original helmet. And not only pilots uh, use, use it, uh, this helmet. Um, also we can see pictures with uh, anti-aircraft gunners with uh, this helmet also. Uh, some recreation stuff we can see here in yellow colored and some um, emergency stuff, you know what I mean. It's like uh, radios, it's like, um, I guess, the boat inside should be a uh, few more um, items for uh, signal where you, <laughs> you have to search uh, the pilots. And um, also navigation system and map and stuff like that. And here uh, we can see one more uh, Overcoat. Uh, this one is uh, SS. It's uh, not in a great shape. Uh, it's not a brand new mint, but this one has been found not far from here also. Um, I guess it has uh, a little bit uh, like <laughs> worn, it has damaged, but it's original, original SS um, overcoat. And uh, this is a very interesting and very rare. It means very very rare you can't find it uh during every show and that's how rare is it and um, i don't want to guess the price for stuff like that we can just can uh, google or i can tell you later when i ask about it uh here we can see motorcycle man on a leather coat this is special equipment for uh, ss motorcycles um, and uh, here we can see motorcycle. <laughs> What's a surprise! And look at that. Some parts of uh, armored vehicles. For example, this one as the KFZ uh, 222, and uh, this is uh, back part of it, like um, a rear part. We can see this one. Uh, don't create. Probably I correct. Uh, call it and a uh, few wheels uh, from different uh, from different uh, vehicles for example this one we can see on a uh, original period uh, picture uh, for equipment is pay attention on uh, this cover this is a ss uh, cover and which very rare and interesting 
and uh, with the special hooks. And uh, here we can see uh, original uh, backpack with uh, original um, bun and uh, this is very interesting also and very rare. And uh, this is uh, artillery uh, cannon um, wheels, and you can see how how you can use uh, this special loop for um, for to carry, you know. And uh, this is a special straps uh, for to carry something heavy. Um, I guess this is a PAK 40, P-A-K, uh, 40 anti-tank uh, cannon and uh, probably, at, I guess, this is a shell for for this one and uh, this is a container for this shell. And look at that, look at the display, uh, we can see one, uh, two, three and four. Uh, four uh, camouflage uh, cell bands, four SS, and this is a very rare and uh, uh, it's very unusual to see uh, this stuff in uh, museums because it's pretty cool. That's why this museum, one of uh, the most interesting museum with um, equipment for me in the world. So that's why I uh, changed my plans and came here. Um, after I already left uh, the Belgium, so it's very interesting to see it because uh, in a lot of museums, um, a lot of museums show us uh, only um, only how it should looks. You know, we are only few soldiers, but um, not a lot of museums can show you different uh, types in the details. Uh, here we can see it, and probably we can ask. Uh, the owner uh, to tell us stories about uh, items he has on his display because uh, a lot of uh, interesting material here. This one is a rare um, smoke, also camouflage smoke uh, for SS and this is very interesting. Uh, so downstairs, downstairs we can see more items uh, related with SS paratroopers and uh, uh, American soldiers but uh, look at that sign. Uh, Stumon Lagles, Belgium, December 1944, in memory of those uh, of the 740th tank battalion, U.S. Army, who fought and died here, and to the stalwart Belgian citizen who gave uh, their lives for liberty in the Battle of the Bulge. Uh, and um, this is a very important uh, sign, and it's um, stay here in a in a like a middle of the town and this one is there in the middle of the uh, building here we can see amazing display with mg uh, 42 half hour ago probably uh, one, one hour ago and uh, this is a fresh news you know, like breaking news and this soldier have uh, Sturmgewehr and this Sturmgewehr in good shape and uh, it was originally two shells two different types and uh, boxes for the uh, carry. So, of course, uh, we, we tried to find a little bit of time okay. to go together to the museum. 